Greetings and thank you for joining us at the start of a brand new week. It's always a joy to be able to come and spend a few minutes in the Word and prayer with you. And we're going to journey together this week on and take some time to reflect on the whole aspect of humility, of humbling ourselves before God and before people. Now, this is not a very uh, common or something, a topic that's celebrated. Everybody wants to be on top, in charge, uh, you know, at, at go up higher levels. But the scriptures teach us, God teaches us uh, a very important truth. And I've tried to summarize it by saying, step lower, get higher. And, and we will look at these things through scripture and why this is important. Let's just begin by understanding what happens when we choose humility. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 5 through 7, Peter writes, he says, Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. And a parallel scripture here is James 4, 6. James says, But He gives more grace. Therefore, He says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. The key thing I want to highlight, we will look at these scriptures again uh, during the course of this week. But the key thing I want to bring our attention to is this. He says, all of you be submitted to one another. He's not just telling the younger to be submitted to the elder. He's saying, all of you walk with a spirit of submission. That means even the older people are walking with a spirit of submission. That means, he says, you're clothed with humility. Everybody in the Christian community, this community of believers, everybody walks clothed with humility, humbling ourselves towards one another and before God. Why? Because he says, God gives grace to the humble or humility attracts grace. Grace is God's empowering. Grace is God's favor. Grace is God's enablement in our lives. Grace is God's gifting in our lives. Humility attracts grace. And in fact, James says, he gives more grace to the humble. So, think about this. As we humble ourselves before one another, before God, it positions us to receive more grace from God, more favor, more empowering, more gifting, more of God's provision. All of that is included in that word grace. Because God pours out grace as you walk in humility. So the more you humble yourself, the more grace is poured into your life in all its facets, in all aspects. And this is so powerful because it's the grace of God then that makes us who we are, that enables us to go beyond our own abilities. So the more we humble ourselves, the more grace is poured into our lives. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the instruction you give us in your word. We ask that you'll empower us by your Holy Spirit to walk in this, to humble ourselves so that we can receive more of your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.